This video describes the differences and similarities between players and fans in Madpuck. Both are handled within the roster tab, which you can control across the top of the screen. So first you have players, which are your rostered players that play every game. And then next you have APs or subs, which are your call-ups when you need an extra player. The main difference between players and APs is how they're handled within the attendance feature. And the fans tab, these are the unique users that sign into Madpuck and have been approved to see your team. So for example, all the parents, the coaches, the managers, the players, the sponsors, the grandparents, you can think of these as user accounts. The first difference between players and fans is how they are added to your Madpuck team. Players are added by you manually and fans are invited and approved. So from a high level, the players or APs, let's refer to those as players going forward, are the actual players on your team, whereas fans are the users of Madpuck. So to add a player, we go into the Players tab, and we choose Add Player from the center of the screen, or once you've had players, you're going to choose Add from the top right of the screen. And then we can add player either uh, manually by choosing Add Player, or we can import play, uh, bulk players. So let's choose Add Player. And we're going to enter the name of our player. Oops, Adams. And their number, 22. And hit Add. So that's uh, one of our rostered players. And for fans, we're going to switch to the Fans tab. And we're going to choose Invite to Team. And then once you click that, you'll have the option to send the invite using any of your chat methods or email, or you can just copy the link and then send that offline to your team. Now if I switch to another device, I'm one of the parents on the team and I've received this email asking me to join the team. So I'm going to click on the link to join the team and that'll take me into Madpuck and you also see at the bottom there it says that I'm pending approval for joining the team. Now if I'd if I hadn't had Madpuck installed, it would have taken me to the App Store to install Madpuck, and then it would have taken me to this screen, and I would still be in the pending state as well. So now if we switch back to the original device that uh, for the user that created this team, and we go into the Rosters and Fans section, we can see that uh, the user that's in the pending state is now shown in our Fans list, uh, Melissa here and we have a check mark to approve this user or an X to, uh, to not approve. So we're gonna hit the check mark and that takes us into the um, fan approval screen and you can also edit these everything in here uh, later on so it, it's not set in stone. Um, and then down the left hand side of the screen we're gonna assign uh, a role to that user based on their uh, real life role within the team. So for example in this case, we said this is a parent of one of our players, so we're going to assign the parent role. If it's an actual uh, player, then we'd assign the player role. Um, it could be a family member or a friend that wants to follow along with the live play-by-play. -play. Uh, for example, a grandparent. We find a lot of the grandparents like to follow along and cheer on the team. Um, it could be a coach, a statistician, which is someone that enters the game events for the purposes of the live play-by-play -play and the stats for the team. Could be a videographer that records the uh, games on video and then provides links to those videos within Madpuck. Could be a team manager. Um, you can provide, um, it could be an ad additional administrator f to help you administer the team. Or it could be a sponsor if they want to, that has provided funds for the team and wants to follow along with the play-by-play. -play. So, you want to choose, you can choose as many different roles as is appropriate for the, uh, the user or the fan that you're approving here. Keep in mind that you want to provide or, or assign the correct role to the fan because the roles dictate which functionality is provided to that fan. So some roles provide more functionality and some roles provide less functionality or, or access to that team. So for example, the coach role provides uh, a lot of access to the team, whereas a friend or family member or a sponsor provide very little access to the team. Um, so for example, for something like cumulative stats, the 
parent can see the cumulative stats of only their child, or the player can only see the cumulative stats of, of, of themselves, whereas a coach can see the cumulative stats of every player on the team, uh, whereas a friend or family member won't be able to see any cumulative stats for any player. So it's important to make sure that the roles are correctly assigned to make sure the right permissions and access is provided to that user. So we said that this particular fan was a parent. So we've I've gone ahead and deselected all of the other roles and just selected parent. Now what we want to do is associate this fan with one of the players uh, in the system. And we only created one earlier. So you can do that by choosing the select player um, link on the right hand side of the screen. And so beside parent, there's up to two players that you can associate. Uh, you may have two children on the team. And so we're going to select uh, player one. And we only created one player earlier. And so we're going to choose that player. And so you can see there that number 22, Gavin Adams, is the player or the child that's associated with this parent fan. You can associate up to two players or children with a parent. You can associate, uh, it's a one-to-one -one mapping between uh, a player uh, as a user and a player within the system. And you can also associate a player with a friend or family member. So for example, um, uh, a grandparent and a grandchild that's a player on the team, you can associate those. And that just makes it a little bit easier next season. Um, if that player is moving to the new team, you can, you can duplicate the team and then the associated uh, fans or family and friends will automatically get moved to the new team so you, they don't have to click on the link again. So it's important to associate the player with the fan in MadPuck so that the fan has additional controls over that player within MadPuck. So for example, a parent or a player is able to change the attendance of one of the players in MadPuck. Um, they're able to vote on polls for that player that they're associated with. They're able to complete tasks for that player. They're able to complete health checks for that player. And they're able to see the cumulative stats for that player. So it's very important to ensure that the roles are set correctly and that the players are associated with those fans correctly. And that sets up the rest of the functionality to work um, smoothly within MadPuck for the season. So I've gone ahead and cleared the roles and associations for this user because I want to provide another example that you might see. Um, so let's assume that this particular fan is a coach that has a player on the team. So obviously we're going to choose the coach role for this fan, but then because they have a player, we also want to make sure that we assign the parent role and we want to select player one and associate a this particular coach's um, child with this fan. Another example is if we have the actual player, Gavin Adams, in, the, in this example, join MadPuck as a user. So in this case, what we'd do is we'd choose the player role, and then we'd associate that player, the player, the fan player, with the actual player in MadPuck. Let's go back to the original example. We said that this particular fan was a parent and that we're going to associate them with the only player that we created. And we're also going to give this uh, parent a statistician role that allows them to contribute the game events to the game, which are used for the live play-by-play -play and the stats. So we've, we've correctly set everything up here and now we're going to choose save from the top right menu. And now you can see that we have a new user, Melissa, and she, she is assigned a parent and stats role and is, is associated with number 22, Gavin Adams. If we want to later change the association or any of the player roles, we can come back into the fan screen and click on the player. And then we can directly select the player associations there by clicking on select player one or select player two or if we choose change role, we go back into the screen that we've seen before and we can adjust any of the roles or any of the player associations from here. If you have any team members that have issues accessing functionality, 
Often uh, the issue is because they're incorrect, they're assigned the wrong role or they're not uh, correctly assigned to their player. So come back in here into the screen and check to make sure everything's set up correctly. That's it for this video. Uh, hopefully you have a very good understanding now of the differences and similarities between the players and the fans in Madpuck. We'll see you at the rink.